consider necessary for sterility have been met. That means a certain pressure for a certain amount of time, mm -hmm. a certain amount of um, water vapor saturation. It's, it's met those benchmarks, and once it's met those benchmarks, the thing changes color. There's no indicator, so it means uh, it's contaminated. contaminated. No you can't indicator. see contamination. All you can really see, all these indicators just tell you whether it's been through the process. Okay. That should be enough to make it sterile. Something else called a biological indicator that we'll get into later. Mm. Right. So if, if you don't see an indicator in there, what would you do? Not use it? No, discard. Well, maybe. Initially, that indicator may be tucked in there, you can't see it. So we're going to kind of make a mental note, I can't see it. At some point, after you're gowning gloved, you can poke around in there and try, and try to find it. If you still don't find it, at that point, you can't use the instrument set, plus, since you've touched it, you can't. You, you got your gown and gloves have been contaminated. You now have to change. It. But if you can't find an indicator, you have to throw it out. If somebody was just careless and then put one in there, too bad. So it's that. We don't use it. Right. And that does happen. All right. So we've created our sterile field. We have quite a bit of area here. We pick things. Right? Gowns, gloves, that sort of thing. This is a really small bit of instrument. You usually will do this on the table, or the, the OR bed. Um, there might be 50 or 100 things here. Yeah. 100 is probably a high number, but it could be a lot. You know, if it's a big case, if it's an open heart, or something like that, my goodness, there's lots of stuff. We're gonna start really, really simple. Um, most things that we open are gonna be peel packed. These are examples of peel packs. It's not the only way that you can wrap things. Um, this stuff here was not peel packed, for example, but but gloves and many, many disposables will come in a peel pack. That means you peel it open. Your sutures are going to be in a peel pack. These are peel packs. These are peel packs that they can open in the OR. Or that they can, uh, they have these down in SPD. They can put things in that and they can create a peel pack there. A lot of your manufactured goods come already peel packed. This is a peel pack that we made here. It's got a little indicator in there. We don't have a sterilizer, so none of the stuff that we put together, this stuff's not going to change because we don't have the capacity to do that. But we're going to go through the motions. We're going to say we can look. Uh, and then we sterilize these things. Where are we going to open this stuff? On a sterile field, right? I just created all the sterile field. I have all this area that I can open things. Sutures. These are called peanuts. Um, we're going to open that. Let's talk about it just a bit, how you open sterile items. Typically, especially something like this, it was sealed there. There's manufacturer sealed all the way around there. We're going to peel it from this end. Usually the corners have something that kind of sticks them down. Pop that first. So run your finger down there and open that up. And now you've got that free. That tab is now freed up. Okay, that's a good, a good thing to note. Uh, your gloves, other things, maybe that way. Now I'm going to peel it apart. I want to be able to grab it in both hands. I'm going to peel it apart. I'm never going to touch the inside of that. Okay? Sounds like a margin. Yeah. So. When I peel it apart, you see this side is glued, the two pieces are glued together. That glue, that glued edge, is not considered sterile. So when you open this and when you dispense it off of here, this item has a tendency to want to slide off that edge. If it slides off the wrapper, it's contaminated. 